Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a video today on being successful and I don't mean rich. To me, rich and successful are completely different things. I'm just gonna get my water and my coffee. So this is actually part of my video is that, you know, I've got my little coffee here, I've got my water here and that's actually gonna be a little bit connected to this video that I'm gonna make. <laughs> so, Basically, I have been here long enough on this planet at this point to see who of the people that I know have become super, what I would term successful. And how I see successful is different to rich. Well, I see success as something where you are totally fulfilled. And it's not really about money because money, I mean, everybody needs a different amount of money to be happy, right? I don't see money as anything other than freedom. Uh, money is just... A sensation of freedom in my belief so as long as you have enough money to live an abundant life and never feel like a tightness or a fear around money then that's to me success um, and that varies depending what country you live in depending on your needs depending on what makes you feel free depending on what so I take sort of money out of the equation of success as long as you just are free because uh, you might earn nothing but you meet a billionaire and you just don't ever need to earn money so you can do things purely because you just feel like you want to do them right so success and rich totally different things to me what do I also think of as successful just something where you feel a deep sense of purpose you feel um you know embodied and you are generating uh sort of you're putting something out into the world that people love that's successful, isn't it? You're putting something out into the world and people love it. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's a product and you're earning enough money to be free, to feel free. Um, so I've seen enough people now in my life that have achieved that or not achieved that. And I started to put patterns together. The same as looking online at, at people that have just kind of blown up. And what do I personally see that these people have in common? that old authenticity, which is why we get really annoyed sometimes. Who hasn't felt annoyed when they've gone on TikTok or some app and they've seen a person <laughs> that shares the most ridiculous content ever? And they just are like so, they have so many views and so many followers. Um, I saw one the other day, I saw a woman who makes food, right? And she makes the most average food you could ever make. Like I'm talking white bread with chicken nuggets inside of it. Maybe you know this person. Or um, some awful looking pasta with just fried beef on, fried minced meat on top. And uh, her kitchen's kind of dirty and everything's very old. And she shows up with like no makeup on, greasy hair, bad camera angles. And she is thriving on TikTok. And you know what she has? She's authentic. And she didn't sit there and really put on some kind of show to get viewers. And this leads on to, it, this thought came up from me from some of my uh, course videos, because that's been on my mind, because I did a, a few course uh, trials. So that came into my sphere. And then I was really thinking about that whole course thing. And I realized that it's okay to learn skills from other people as long as you stay authentic. And I've been, you know, I've done many things outside of the spiritual world, like become a fashion photographer. And so I've seen a lot in the art world and I definitely saw it there and I've made videos on this before. So I'm not gonna like bore you again with the details of who I saw become really, really successful in those spheres, but it was 100% people that were authentic. And the problem with going to art school or going to photography school is sometimes you can be stripped of your authenticity and you can almost be um, commercialized or you can start doing artwork in someone else's style because you're being taught in a certain style. Now if you can take the foundational skills of art and then really put your own energy into it, that's cool. And I think this is how I feel with courses as well. If you can go do a course and it actually empowers and motivates you to be more yourself and more authentic, you know, you can't lose out, right? But if you're starting to become like the people teaching you, then you, you're you losing yourself. You're just becoming a mirror of those people. And same with everything. If you go to art school and you're just mirroring a technique and you're not actually being you, then you're not probably gonna be successful. 
Uh, and I do see it quite a lot on courses because I've just had the experience of being on a course and I've, I've even found people take on phrases from courses or ideas from courses and then sort of make them their teachings but that's not really your teaching you know that's their teaching and your teaching is you it's something totally unique to you and the more that you can just be yourself and that is a process you know it's it's the same as surrender you can't just tell somebody to be surrender to surrender you can't just tell someone to be authentic you just can't do it it's not a switch you can just switch on it's like layers and that's why I mentioned this, because, you know, if you feel like bringing on a coffee and chilling and being yourself and the more yourself you can be, honestly, I really believe the more success you're going to have, the more you can get your authentic you out there, the more you're going to find your tribe of people that like your authentic self. And I think people often try just too hard. Um, they just try too hard and it doesn't work. And we're all guilty of it. I know when I started doing my little travel channel um, that I put the, the video on and it's immediate. I'm like, hi, welcome to my travel channel. Um, I don't know why I do that. I just couldn't help but not do it, which is why when you get started in something, you're just practicing and you're just learning to be yourself. And some people find this easier. Some people just don't care. Like that woman in the kitchen, she's like, hey, I'm making a chicken nugget sandwich today and I'm putting some chicken nuggets in white bread and she just doesn't care and she's just cool with it. I wish I wish I was naturally like that but I am one of those people where it takes, you know, it's not that easy for me just to be authentically casually myself and I have to actually work towards it and peel back the layers and we all have an area in, in our life when we, where we do that. I think sometimes the less you care about something the easier it is you know if you're not looking to kind of make money out of it or make it a business uh, and that's how I believe a lot of these people actually do blow up on social media in the first place is because they don't really actually care that much they just see it as a bit of a far a bit of fun or a way to curb a bit of loneliness or whatever and they just jump on and people are drawn to that authenticity and then they blow up and then they start to think about it more financially um, unfortunately, if you're going into something and you actually want it to be good, you're already at a bit of a disadvantage because you're more likely to wear your little mask and um, want to put on a show. And uh, yeah, to strip that off, it, it, it's a process, right? It's a process, um, which is why I see, which is why before when I said, maybe if you're not getting traction, you're just simply not good enough. I didn't mean you're not good enough as a person or you can't be there, but it's like you're in a process still of shedding those layers, you know, shedding those layers. And I do believe when you show up in a certain energy, the world will just reflect that. So yeah, I think if you can do things that help you to be more authentic and help you to be more authentically you, that's fantastic. But I think we have to be really careful about not becoming authentically somebody else because that doesn't really equate to true success. So here's my video today on how I personally believe we can be successful. And uh, I hope everyone's well and bye-bye.